Welcome back to Factorio Megabase in a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing. Thank you very much everyone for following along and joining and, and just enjoying it. Uh, this progressive, the uh, more complex base as we try to keep keep things in line and try to keep things in on track. And uh, of course, thank you particular to the patrons who are continuing to support. And that is super amazing because that is what keeps us going. Now, it does, uh, I don't want to feel make it feel like it is like an extortion, like I am going to end it unless you, uh, sub you pledge. But in the beginning of the series, I said, hey, I'll make an episode for each uh, Templar of the Path. And then sort of, uh, it has kind of, I wouldn't say gotten out of hand, but it has, uh, it has progressed and I don't want to go sort of go back on that promise. So uh, that is, now we're continuing until that happens. And uh, it's sort of a couple of weeks away uh, if nothing changes, but uh, we have still interesting things to do in this space. And just FYI, I'm not, you don't have to ask me whether I'm going to be playing Space Exploration, Pionidan or Castorio or Angels Bobs or anything like that. I'm not going to start a new series. That's not my plan at, least at this point. And I am not going to play any of those mod overhauls because there's just no audience for that. Uh, so that's, uh, let's get that out of the way. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do a new and exciting design for steel. First though, I want to show what I did between sessions. I built this uh, copper facility and I had to sort of slant them a bit just to get in here. And I also built another copper facility over here. Uh, this one is worse because uh, there's not enough room here for one train. So I'm actually having two trains on the lower one, but only one train for this. So there are fewer trains here in this location. But it uh, it means that we've now added, uh, what is it, nine, 18 more copper stations here. Like this, we have uh, 68 copper stations and 69 trains. Nice. And what I can... What I can do about that is, uh, well, I've just enabled them. I've just sent a lot of trains over, so it's going to take a t take a while. But we are seeing issues here, and it's less than what it was like uh, when I was starting to, when I was building this. But we still have iron is, is not great, and plastic uh, blue is not great, and copper is not great. So this is this is the deficit between request and supply, and we can see copper is atrocious. Minus 17. What is it actually? We are providing. We're providing five, but we are requesting 27, 20, 21. I think it's going to stabilize because what we've done now is we have set up. We've set up a lot of new purple signs. And, and so first of all, we also built a lot of additional blue signs, uh, blue circuits. Blue circuits and red circuits, right? So they are still, even though it's a couple of episodes ago, they're still filling up their internal buffers. And where do we have our... Where do we have our blues? These are the newest two blues, and they're still not good enough. And this one's still not good. Oh, this actually just came in. And let's see, do we have a train? Yeah, a train is already assigned. And the other blues, they are here. Just keep filling these up. As long as we can see that things are filling up here, then I feel pretty confident about this. I feel confident that it'll eventually build a surplus and that's the surplus we are we're looking for but in the meantime it's going to draw a lot of greens a lot of reds and both greens and reds require a lot of copper a lot of plastic a lot of iron look at what we're missing iron copper and plastic so i think this is about filling up internal buffers not an actual deficit at least not for copper in this after we built the last two i knew it was not enough before but i think it's enough now so I think that this is simply a matter of wait and see. I don't have any indication of that except for my own intuition. And uh, well, may it, after a couple of hours of playing Fatorio, I think I have a pretty good uh, intuition for what things are going to be like. Uh, I'm going to get the you in here because we are going to do some design at this point. Uh, do we have some of that? Yes, I don't need these anymore. Uh, oh, what did I just do? Nope. I don't need that. Okay, doesn't matter. So we are, mm, yeah. I I think, yeah. I think this is fine because if we look at our plastic build, for example, our new plastic build, they should be better than the old plastic builds. And if really push comes to shove, we can always just throw in an extra plastic build here, uh, in this build. Hey, looks like that no, we do have lights in it. It's just kind of gloomy. All right, we are here. So what do we what do we want to build today? I want to build. A train-to-train train for steel. 
Yeah, that's gonna be it. Okay, so what is the discrepancy between this and the other one? Oh, you know what I need? I need some actual iron ore in my inventory. Yeah, because I needed to do some testing. And now we have some useless iron ore in our inventory. I also have another idea, and that is to get that one and that one, and then kill all of these and go back to mining productivity. Now that we have mining productivity 100, that seems like a good occasion to go into this. Oh, look at that. It's actually getting really close to the 256. At that point, I'll take that one. Well, no, not really. But anyway, we can do a faster shooting speed and then we'll do artillery range so we can push them back. Now that the base is monstrously polluting, <clears throat> then uh, we need to do something about it. What is this actually doing? That's weird. Oh, I think you happen to just step in. No, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, right. These are going in to fill up the landfill for the stuff here. All right. Well, you're kind of useless. Spider -tron. There's been a number of suggestions about sort of for, for the spider -tron. Let's actually do this here. Yeah, that's the that's the end of it. All right. That's the last bit of uh, of this we need. There, yeah, just something cool. All right. Down here, uh, we are going to get something for this and there. So what we do need is here's the trick challenge. I don't know what we want to call it. And if I put something in here. Now, this is producing at speed 1.4. So if I just have a one to one ratio, oh, I, I keep this one doesn't know anything yet until it actually gets some enough to start one steel, then it's going to get the next one there. All right. So now we see there is going to be a discrepancy if we have the same amount of beacons or same speed for the two, right? There will be a slight surplus of iron. And then the question is, does that matter? Or is that just, yeah, close enough. But the issue is that we're going to have something like this. And we do have one advantage over the other builds. And that is, this is super slow. So I can actually do something like this part. That means I have a better opportunity to match things. I uh, match things with the distances here. So I'm pretty sure I need something like one and then like this. Yeah, I'm going to take you out and put you here. And then it'll almost certainly be like something like this. Yeah. And then that can be here and here. Let's go. So this, I think, is the right solution because now I have the spacing here between these. I don't think I can get it any smaller. So now at this point, it's all about how many beacons can be put in. And that one can hit and this one can hit. So this would be the absolute maximum on this. I don't know if that actually will fit on other things. And let's get you also here and here as well. Oh, hold on. Um, if I put this here, then it also affects that. This is now speed 11.4. This is speed 9.4. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's that's something, isn't it? That is something. Hmm. But couldn't it be better? Because I could also do something like this here. What if I take this one down there? That's better, right? That makes both of them faster. There's a very, 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 very slight positive and i like that i like the idea of having something slightly positive i like being slightly positive and we do have another well i i haven't really been saying but i know that if there's three plus one so if it's four and then beacons that means it's certainly of of seven that means it's repeatable for a train wagon like this and then it'll be repeatable down here as well 
Does that make sense? I think it does. And I don't think we could support these, to be honest. Like this one. Mm, I because there's no way we can put in these modules are oh, so I think we'll have to oh that's not working that one and that one but then it's not touching uh is that it is that really necessary it might be all right so let's build the other one the next one I think it has to be just identical Uh, that's not it. Yeah. Because the steel is going to be so slow that it doesn't really matter. And we'll take these two here. You're going to go away. And then I'll have one squeezed in there. And that's two. Alright, where do we have the... And then I'm going to have to build it like this as well. That actually looks correct. Do I like... Do I need this? It does seem like... seem like I could get rid of something. But I, I don't really think I can. Uh, if I move this over... Yeah. Then... The, the trick here is very much that this is 11.4 and this is 12.4. So there has to be a discrepancy and difference that will be offset by the fact that we have 20% productivity. So this one should be roughly 20% faster. All right, let's look at the stats here. Oh, we're still having... Why do we have a uh, yellow signs just not working at all? Modul uh, low density structures. And load density structures, my guess is that it's not always keeping up on the yellow signs. I, psh, yes, I, I'm just I'm just saying random words. Uh, I mean copper. So I would imagine that the absolute copper demand here we have is probably what's gonna kill this. Or what what is straining it at least. That is just military science. What about the other ones? These ones? Yeah. Well, there's still there's still copper on all all tracks. Yeah. Okay. This one is not working. Well, now it's working again. But honestly, if we if we're being honest about it, I have thirty two thousand here, plus I have fifty five thousand here. It's not a disaster if we can't keep up. What we're really doing is we're really just building up a gigantic stockpile because we have seven thousand five hundred of the no we don't have to have the yellow signs the yellow signs is actually the one that has to work because that could potentially slow down the remainder yeah hold on is it correct yeah we just have two stops of this so this is only producing 5400 but it'll need to be upgraded but i don't want to do that just yet but i think this one is actually uh, uh pretty good i'd say so Anything else? How much do we want to unload? Like that, I think. And how much do we want in this middle one? Uh, definitely not much. We do not want a, a local stockpile. Uh, here's another question. Could I do... Okay, that blinking thing is annoying. Would this be possible? You are... Mm-hmm. Let's actually watch it and see. Four. It goes up to five. Does it go higher than five? Six. Now it goes to six. I see six. I see seven. Do I see eight? What happened? Damn it. I need to be able to see if this actually runs out. Because if I look at this and go, okay, well, it's 3.9 output. Do I know if this is, can handle 3.9? I don't actually know. If I'm being totally honest, I don't know. But uh, we can easily let it run here and just monitor if it ever goes into... As long as it says 
this one says working, but if it says uh, output constraint, then it's a problem. See, now it goes up to nine. The fact that it keeps going up is a big warning sign. 10, you know, I saw a little 10 blinking there. And if it goes up to 11, it'll be potentially be getting stuck at some point. And if it just gets stuck just a tiny bit, then we know that it's not sufficient. And now it's going up to 12. And I think 12 is kind of the number where it stops going further. I wonder. Mm. Or no, I guess not. <laughs> so this one go up to 50. Then we are looking at this one. This looks like it's not keeping up on the output. The question is then, is it keeping up on the input? Is this one always working? No, no ingredients. As long as it says no ingredients just, just once, then we know that it's not working. Unfortunately, no way of doing this. So that's, I mean, it's confirmed. It doesn't work. Oh, look at that. We don't have a lot of things uh, broken now. Yay. Uh, this, how much do we want to have here? If I have 1,000 at this location. Then I won't even have enough for a full train. So I think I'll do... Hold on, I don't actually know what, I, I don't remember what I've done on these locations, such as this one. How much do I have in that? I have 1,000, okay. So this one will also be 1,000. There. These are one stack, and these are one stack here as well, one stack here as well. This will be... Maybe this should actually be... Like that, so that if a train... No, it doesn't matter. If a train comes in, it'll always be able to unload. That doesn't matter, because that's not how this system works. Right, so I think we've uh, we've, we've done something nice here. And we can take it like that. And here, and here, and also build it on top. That one. Right, so that is a full build of this. Then what we need is... It's going to be pivoting around... Uh, let's see. Flip. Pivoting around the steel train. Because that's the, the most important. Now we have another big question. And that is, how much steel is this actually producing? Because that's a completely different matter. Oh, we are, of course not. And what are we missing here? We're missing 52 modules. That's okay. I can take that. Also, we can't key seem to support this. Hold on, I might have made a mistake here. Because wouldn't that have been better? If I take these out. Because then they will also reach across here. I think that's better. Of course, we'll have to build something out here. But I like this. I like this. Let's take these out. And we also forgot the lights. And I know lights are taking updates. So you really should never be using lights. Yeah, but I like. I like being able to see what I'm doing. And if that costs a few updates, then so be it. Uh, this looks like a bit of a mess. There we go. And then let's do our power pole comb here. Just to make sure that things are looking okay. Let's actually just look at it there. Ooh, glorious. And it does look a bit dense or compact. Where do we want... Do we want... That seems like the best location to do this. Yeah. Now I can take that one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Right. And... Well, uh, I think I need to upgrade it from... From what we already have here. There. That should be enough to get it. Okay. And all these are here. So this 
is going to be one fourth of the whole thing. So if I do by four, then what do we have going into one train per second? I have a total of 14.8 per second going in. So, but this goes into not one wagon, but two wagons. So how much would it be into one? Now this is into the whole trade, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Doesn't seem like... There. 0 0.9. Uh, that means into one train, it's going to be like this. This is going to... Oh, this is going into one wagon. So one wagon is going to get... It needs 4,000 to fill up. And then it's going to be 1.86 per second. Uh, you can see that. That's 2,000 seconds divided by 60. That's 35 minutes. Ah, that doesn't seem good. So that means I'll have a train standing here for 35 minutes before it's loaded. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of this crap. But I mean, if I if I look at, let's say something like, um, if I look at it from a perspective of this, this is 32 Oh, uh, 32 furnaces and they're all all going to be working all the time but if i look at a steel build like this that is 176 176 divided by 32 5.5 so one of these would correspond correspond to five full trains of this yeah that makes so even though it doesn't seem like a lot, then we're going to have five trains loading at any given time. That's at least what we're going to be trying to do. And then the question is, can we then fit it into this build? I am going to take this part out and then we're going to just do some test runs of this. If we basically we want to model it after this part. No, after this part. So basically something like this, but here I'll have nine stops, but I won't be able to have nine stops in this case. So I will need to figure out how many I can do. And it is actually an advantage for me to build it comp something completely different, like down here where I don't have any robots or anything like that. Yeah. Two. Three, four, five, and definitely six, maybe seven, even seven. Yeah, this part is definitely enough for that little turnaround here. But I'm saying definitely enough, but it's it's enough. I think it certainly looks like it. That very much looks like we have a setup here. Of course, this is not going to be where it is, but it's going to be close to where I want it to be. All right, that's excellent. Let's uh, complete this one. And let me see. I will get, this is the steel coming in. So steel will be, steel can turn right immediately, I guess. But here, you know what, you know what, no, no. this is way easier if I don't have to reinvent the wheel, the wheel every time. So I'm going to take something like this thing and just plop it down and then go, okay, that's what I wanted to do here. This is sort of the basic. Right. So this is going to be where I built my unloading station so we need to sort of figure out where a good unloading station would be and i guess that's a good location i don't have i do have some fuel there yeah. how general disarray uh, that's not the worst name we could call it we'll call it a ghost though because it is a ghost there yeah. okay so this is working and it is completely right on the money that means this can be the turn uh let's see how close is this let's compare it yeah it's perfectly the same 
It's exactly the same. Good. Is that... Okay, autosave is taking forever. There. Okay. This is now the lower one. And then I need... Why is that actually the case? That does seem weird. Because this could have turned much earlier. <clears throat> That one, and then one, two, three. It just seems plausible that I could have done, could do this. Which would, ah, uh, why are we not doing that? Why is that not the case? It just makes so much more sense. Oh, right, because this station has to, go down there and if I get it on the top then it has to cross one more time all right well that it actually makes sense I was thinking when I did this that's lovely good to know good to know and I'm gonna have to build the whole damn thing differently this is not the top one so the whole thing has to be moved a few tiles down okay, we're just gonna build the top here and then one two three that's the official distance between these and then I'm going to have something like this okay and something like this I kind of like this. Except I'm maybe having, yeah, that one and that one. Any more? I don't think I need more circuits here. Well, I do need one across from that here. Okay. All right, so that's definitely gonna be like a part of the build. Now this part, we know where it's supposed to be in terms of, of, um, of yeah, location. So it's really weird why this, this, this here does not look like a normal curve, a hot curve, that one. Okay, I'm going to build that up here, just so we know the alignment, because I'm going to take this thing out. And then I'm going to kill here, even this one as well. And then... I don't know where this is supposed to be, so I'll go here. That one I know, it has to be right there. And then just scoot it down until it matches here. And then I will get the other one, which will be scooted up until it matches. And there we have the design, me thinks. I'll take this one out and this one out, because they're not maybe in the way. And here, here. This thing. There. I like this a lot. Now let's look at the bottom part of this, which will also be a copy of whatever we have here. So I'll take some kind of intersection. Oh no, I need to be focusing it around there. 
Round up. Here. It'll be something like this. I don't exactly know where, how, why, but we'll uh, we'll see. So I need, first of all, I need to make sure that this is the outbound. So this has to have a station. That looks good. That looks a bit close, but it might not be a big problem. I thought I had something. That one, that's the one I wanted. smuggler <laughs> okay this is actually getting a f bit further out but I could get it okay hold on this has to go on the lower one okay so I'm gonna go the lower one and that means this here has to it also has to be loaded so yeah okay now I, I get I get it there is no reason to keep it this close Let's look at that and that. It's perfectly fine. And then it'll loop out this way. This will loop out outside and go this way. Uh, this will be here. Oh, range is actually coming along nicely. And what about module or what do you call it? Yeah. Signals. Well, signals are not really what I have here. There. It doesn't matter. Why am I? Why am I thinking that I can? These signals have to be here. These signals have to be here. But aside from that, it's fine. There. That's going to be the signaling for that. You'll be also be available here. Right. So that is. Um... here and here that might actually have to be going on the other side generally what this one Okay, so that's, I think that's fine. And what else are we missing here? Nothing much, to be honest. Okay, so this I can copy now to our template down here and figure out where that needs to go. It needs to go like that. And then it needs to be adjusted in either end just to make sure that it wraps correctly. So this one obviously is not gonna be here. This will be an input, so that's fine. And like that. And this one is irrelevant. Yeah, so it comes in, the iron ore comes in goes up, goes straight in, goes in here. That means we still miss this one. It should still be fine. And all the outbounds, 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 and that means this part here is irrelevant as well. Because it'll never be wrapping up closer to this. Okay. Now this part is going down south. This is going out. Uh, not like this. And I won't connect it just now. That looks rather good, I would say. That looks very much like what I want to build. Uh, this is connected. This one is connected. What I'm missing is I do not want all of these. You just go and 
put some of that in here. This tracks, tracks, and what I'm missing is some of these and make sure that they do not intersect with the other builds or the builds above or below. It, it shouldn't matter when it's out in the world, but let's try to keep it there. That looks good. Then I'm going to do the same thing down here. And it'll basically at this location, I guess. Uh, can I call this something else instead of you? Because that's kind of an annoying name. I could call you, and I have a radical idea. I could call you Steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a radical idea. Yeah, Steel is probably a good name for it. And with that being done, then the question is, does that reach up here? No, it does not. But it will connect these two if I put it here. All right, so that is actually done. All I need for this is a lot of good iron deposits. We don't have a lot of those, but um, that's something we definitely want to want to get now that's glorious except it's super boring we don't know if it works but that's going to be our cliffhanger for the next episode i think we built something that works let's have a look at one two uh hold on let's uh how many seven stations that means and what did i figure out that i had for, for these stations i want to see how much that act, one of these actually produce in terms of of steel and this one was one wagon so i'll need eight of those in order to get to one and then i would have to get uh i seven of those for five times seven so 56 so i will be producing 104 steel per second in this location and using about mm, how much is that this feels like a familiar number uh let's see about eight eight, eight belts Transport belts? Yeah, eight belts. About eight belts of uh, of iron will be used and 100, 104 steel per second for this build. Now let's compare that to one of these builds. Here. That's 66. So each one of the new ones will actually be equivalent to one and a half of the old ones. The one I don't like about this is all the half entry belts, all the splitters, all of the stuff here. It'll be better in every way, especially in the way that it just is a cool design. So that's going to be one of the next things that we're going to be doing is uh, finding a good place or several good places and start stamping those down out here in the wilderness. Uh, with the range upgrade we get for artillery in just a second, then we will also start pushing them back. That is absolutely something we're going to be saving for next episode. Uh, just the uh, artillery initiation. Cool. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this new design. I will be leaving this design, even if it's raw form, in uh, on uh, in my blueprint repository. I don't update it all the day, every day, because I only update it when I feel that there's something new that I've built in the base that makes sense to uh, to put in the book. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing, liking, commenting. I read all the comments. I don't reply to all of them. I repair to very few, but I read all of them. So thank you very much for that. And of course, a bit big particular thanks to all the Patreon supporters. Thank you very much for supporting the work I do here on the channel. Until next time, take care and stay effective.